Hey, this is Seth with In Demand Career. I show people how to get life-changing jobs in digital marketing with no previous experience or education all over the world. And that includes my very special guest today, Kim, who lives in the UK and was coming out of university, not sure what he wanted to do, took my course and is now a PPC executive making a good salary with benefits. And he's very, very happy. So I'm very excited to share his story with you. Thank you for being here, Kim. Yeah, thanks for having me, Seth. Um, it's great, uh, you know, taking your course. And it's, I'm sorry, can we, can we do it again? I'm sorry. It's like, <laughs> I'm, all, I'm so awkward. Like the intro and in that. Um, but we'll probably just leave this in because I just do that. And f- and the funniest thing is that Andrew, the other <laughs> British kid I interviewed, did the same thing. So maybe it's just a cultural thing. <laughs> it's just to start off. It's like, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's all right, man. It's good to meet you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not, nice, to, nice to be here. There you go. We can just cover <laughs> that. Yeah. So uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about the job that you currently have right now? Yeah. So the job I started it uh, in May. Um, so in this past three months, uh, it's been focused on uh, training, lots of training, uh, getting in the loop of clients, getting in the loop of how the agency works. Um, and then on top of that, uh, yeah, focusing on um, training specific to uh, PPC, Google Ads. But I also had trainings in other parts of um, digital marketing. That's awesome. So I know a lot of my students always allude to that, that when you get into one of these jobs, they don't just throw you into the deep end without any support. Um, but what, so you, your company is based in the UK. What, you know, what kind of accounts are you working on? What kind of budgets are, are you working with? Yeah, so the agency is like, it's known for like working with like global brands. Um, and at the moment, we're, the clients that I'm working uh, with is a, an office space um, brand, IWG, um, and a, an accountant software um, called Intuit. Um, so they're pretty big accounts. So they have lots of campaigns in the accounts and they also have lots of like accounts, lots of accounts and campaigns. Um, yeah. And so and how much are these you know, types of accounts spending on a monthly basis estimated? I, I checked last week for the office space one, they're spending like 200K a month. Um, but that's just for our markets. The other teams, because the office space brand has a lot of markets, so we have like the European markets. Some there's another team that manages the um, APAC markets, um, the EU markets. Um, but yeah, for our markets, all the mar- all the accounts are spending. Yeah, in total, two hundred k, two hundred k. When you say our markets, do you are you working on the UK? Are you working on North America? Are you working on Europe? Um, it's it's uh Euro- European countries. Um, okay. Yeah. Cool. And so, and what is your role in all this? Like, you're not like, obviously the guy who's at the head of the totem pole, you, you know, who's like, you know, picking the budgets and stuff, but like, you know, you're supporting, you're supporting the, uh, the managers who are more experienced. Yeah. So in my team, in my mini team, we have an account manager, uh, and then a senior manager and I'm the executive. Uh, so basically I do the, basically all the work, well, not all the work, but uh, some of the work in, in the accounts. Um, and then the manager and the senior manager, manager just um, like provides the work and um, tells me what to do. Um, and it gives me more training. Yeah. Are you doing like keyword research? Are you doing like competition research? Are you at, doing anything? Are you do actually? At the, moment, um, at the moment, I'm doing like budget pacing, budget management, um, writing ads. Um, but that's, that's about it, really. That's well, that's enough. That's pretty awesome. Mm. That's I like to get into that with people, you know, the specifics. Like these are like you're not like some intern who's like getting coffee and like, you know. Oh no, it's full on. It's full on. Yeah. 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 So anyway, you and you just had a big milestone because you were there for a few months and you what happened with your you had you were on a probationary period or something like that? Yeah. So the first three months was a probation period. It was it, it was focused on just training. But now uh, since starting last week, I felt the pressure. But it's a good pressure because I'm, you know, I'm having more responsibilities. Um, I'm being more involved in client calls. Uh, I was actually presenting, uh, reporting to the client last week about the test that we run. Um, but yeah, it's it's good. I'm finding it, you know, a challenge at the moment in terms of uh, like nerves. But I know I'm gonna get used to it in the future. Um, and you just gotta keep going. You're already doing it. That's awesome. Yeah. And yeah. By the way, how old are you? I'm 20 years old. 
Okay, guys. Yeah, 20 years old, yeah. fresh out of or was in university. But we'll yeah. get into that, what you're doing before in a moment. Um, and you're working on these, you know, bigger accounts. So you, you, your title changed, right? You, and you, now you're getting benefits? Yeah, so when I started off in May, it was just a training um, PPC account executive. Now I have the actual name of a PPC account uh, executive. Um, yeah. And you have the, and you're getting paid how much? I'm getting paid around uh, 20K uh, a year. So that's like, yeah, 1,500 pounds a month. Um, that's like, yeah. that's about, it's just a little less than 30,000 USD. Yeah. Um, which again, we've, we've already discussed that in the entry level salaries in the UK tend to, you know, are often a little bit less than in the US. But remember, it's an entry level job, you're getting on the job training, you're going to pivot this into a higher paying job, and you guys get those incredible benefits. Like, so what are some of the benefits that you get? The, one of the benefits is, uh, well, the bar, the, 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 they have a bar in the office, <laughs> um, like free member, uh, well, 50% uh, membership. Gym, gym membership, uh, medical cash fund. There, there's a lot that you get. Also, you also get like sales commissions. Um, but yeah, which you get, you get, and well, also, I, I'm going to talk about commissions in a second. But I mean, you're in U the UK, so how much paid time off do you get or vacation time? Uh, 25, 25 days. Um, yeah, yeah, twenty five days annually. Yeah. yeah, but I haven't, I haven't, I haven't uh, used any of it yet because I just passed my probation. But um, yeah. Yeah. Again, guys, this is just and, you know, we, we, I just talked with three students who work at an American company that has really good PTO policies. But in Europe, 25 days off, like three, four or five, even six weeks off is just normal for work life balance over there. And, you know, as I've always said again and again, I would have you know, if I was in the workforce, I would definitely take a slightly lower salary for all that time off. So that's like really awesome. You know, like I said, we don't get that that much in the U.S. Um, and then, but what's this about commissions? It was, it's more of um, bringing in like prospects and helping out, like helping out, you know, with bringing in more prospects to the agency. I haven't really got like involved in that yet because I've been focused on training and just getting in the loop so that I can, you know, uh, perform the, my, my role properly. As um, you should. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But and and um, I'm sorry, what? Actually, there was uh, someone joined like around the same time as me, but they're based in America because we have an office in america and like after two weeks after um joining he already brought in a prospect <laughs> and they, i think we got them as a client as well so he got the sell you know the, the commission like just after two weeks of joining which is i was like wow this is great <laughs> that's awesome that's like a combination of doing the technical work and some sales yeah. stuff that you can use when you're doing your own kind of freelancing and getting your own clients and you're getting compensated for it um so so a lot of good stuff Stuff. Why don't we just, you know, let's go back to before you got this job. I know you're very excited about it, but what was happening in your life before, you know, you're 20 years old. So, I mean, did, yeah. had you finished university or had you just come out of high school? I know the system is, it's a little different over there in the UK. Yeah. So in the UK, we have college, uh, which is like late high school. Um, so I finished college. But college in, is not university? No, no, it's not university. It's okay. the stage before university. I don't know what it's called in America. So like when you're 17 like, or 18 and you're like, like senior year in, in high school. Yeah. yeah, senior high school. Yeah, I think. That's, okay. Yeah. Um, so th that was in March 2020. That's when I finished uh, college. And then that's when lockdown started in the UK as well. Um, and then that's when I find out about uh, digital marketing through so YouTube. Just, just to interrupt, I just want so to clear with people because I know we're using these terms that are a bit overlapping. So you do yeah. not have a university degree. No. No. Okay. That's great. I didn't realize that I would I'm gonna <laughs> add that to the description or something. Cause I, you, you said college. And when, when, when you say you finish college in the U S we think yeah. that means you have a college degree. So, so no, you, you just came right out of high school. That's awesome. And yeah. I, before we get into more of the story, when you were sending out resumes and applications, was that an issue? I mean, no, it wasn't like they didn't read, they were uh, looking for experience and not so much about the qualifications. As long as they can see that you've done the, uh, the qualifications that you I mentioned in your course, so like the, the Google training, the, the Facebook blueprint, that's like, I think that's more valuable than a, a university degree, in my opinion, from like from my experience. So jump into the when you found my course and how all that went. 
yeah, so in August, I found your course. And um, so I, I went through the course in like in two weeks. Um, I followed what you said. So go through the, the course first once or twice or even three times and then do the generate your own experience and then start applying for the jobs. Yeah. And so how was my course different? Did, did, you know, how was it different from the other courses you'd taken? Yeah. So I found what stood out uh, with your course that you um, teach like from scratch. Um, so, you know, literally click by click and it's very easy to like to follow and it very easy to understand as well, because you're actually doing it, you're actually doing it um, or doing it with, with the video and you're following the video. And that's what really helped me, um, you know, understand digital marketing more. Um, yeah. Cool. So, so then how, you know, what happened after you took the course and you started applying? So, yeah, I, so around, yeah, August, that's when I took the course and then I started um, applying for internships and uh, jobs. But while doing your course, I was actually reaching out to uh, agencies, like local agencies already. And that's when I got snapped up by an agency while doing your course. Um, and that, so I've been busy with that. So I left the course just on the side. Um, and then so I've been focused uh, on the, the internships uh, until like January uh, or February. Um, but yeah. So it was so, an internship. Just so I understand. You, 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 you got internships and there were different kinds of internships than what you yeah. did before. Like you were actually learning stuff or you're actually getting hands-on experience. Yeah, yeah. Um, so August to September, that's when I was looking for internships. And then I got snapped up by an agency, a Facebook ads agency. Um, but again, I was still new to digital marketing. I didn't really know, like, okay, what are they trying to do? Um, but yeah, those three months uh, were good and just full of experience. Um, yeah. Cool. So that took you through to January. And you, this was a full on internship, yeah. so you weren't getting paid, right? No, actually, it was unpaid. Um, it was an unpaid internship. It was unpaid, right? That's what I said. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's like what we would normally think of as an internship, but you're getting the experience. And so then how did that transition into this, you know, you know, what was your first job? Was this your first job, the one that you have now? Yeah, this is my first like digital marketing job, yeah. And so how did you get this job? How did that, you know, process, the interview process go and everything? Yeah, so after the internship, that in, after the yeah internship I did with the Facebook ads agency, that really boosted my LinkedIn, my my CV, um, and so I put everything together. So all the things that I've done in in your course and the internship, and then I applied, started applying to uh, to agencies in the UK, and one of them is Crowd, and the interview process actually for me it took a long time because they were um, hiring other PPC executives as well, um, yeah. And can you just speak up a little bit and slow down a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so when did you start interviewing with them? Around February. And then, so that was the first interview. I had two interviews with them. The first one was with the hiring manager in February. And then the second interview was with the, um, the PPC account directors around April. Yeah, early April, late March. Cool. Um, and, so, yeah. and how did the interview... So. But you, and you ended up getting hired in May. So that was a, yeah. that's a pretty that long was, interview process. Yeah. Uh, was it just because they were busy hiring other people or did you have like 25 interviews? Like, why was it so long? It's because they were hiring a lot of um, other like PVC executives as well. Mm -hmm. um, even uh, that student from you, uh, Dom, he started- Oh, Dom, do you know well. Dom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I've been speaking to him um, since I, you know, I started at Crowd. Um, but yeah, that's awesome. I didn't even, guys, there's another student and I've been, I've been playing for like LinkedIn tag with him for a while, but he also got hired at this agency, Dom. Um, I think I posted his testimonial on Instagram, but I've been trying to do an interview with him too. I didn't realize you guys knew each other. That's awesome. So that makes sense if it's a big agency and I'm doing a lot of hiring and remember, dude, you're, I mean, he's, you know, Kim is 20 years old. You know, if you weren't doing this, he'd be studying some nonsense in university, building up debt or paying whatever you guys pay in the UK. I know it's not as bad in the US, but it's still it's still not yeah. going to lead you right to a career path like this. So I think it's, you know, 
you did the internship, you boosted. And I think, by the way, guys, you know, whether you're in my course or not, you know, there are some people like when I teach the way I teach the course is like literally you can generate your own experience and immediately start applying for jobs. And it is and you can get a job with having done no done like no internships, but internships done right, like the one you described at the Facebook ad agency can really boost your confidence. So that's like an individual thing that I leave up to certain people. Like when I, you know, when I got my first agency job, guys, 2011, I had no internship experience. I just worked on my own stuff and people like Kyan and, and, and Nick, you know, like who, who's my coach, like all these guys, um, like he got an internship, but other people just go right into it. So you, you know, the, the tools to bolster your resume are right in the course but a lot of people do like to get that internship. And I think it's great because then again, you are, it's an organic thing where you've actually got more, you keep getting more experience. And then when you show up for that job interview at this big agency, you just naturally are, they want to hire you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So uh, what was it like getting hired there? The first month was intense in terms of training. Um, just getting in the loop of clients, um, learning about the agency. And then month two to month three, it's actually, that's when it starts to click. And okay, I actually know what's going on now. Um, and get, you know, yeah, and I was, yeah, started getting involved in um, client calls and reporting to clients. That's yeah. awesome. And when I say, you know, what was it like to get hired? I mean, how did you feel getting the job? Did you feel good? Did you feel surprised? Did you feel excited? Yeah, like when I received that email from the hiring manager, um, I was actually walking back from somewhere and I ran home <laughs> to tell my parents. Um, and yeah, and I still remember when I, I kept looking back at the email and I was looking at it and I was thinking like three, uh, no, six, seven months ago, I, was, I didn't know about digital marketing. I got, you know, scanned by these forces and now I'm, you know, working as an agency that's well known in the UK, not just in the UK, but uh, in America as well, in Australia. Um, and yeah, I still can't believe, um, you know, that I actually got the job, that I'm actually, you know, a part of a, an agency and that I'm on my way to, you know, becoming a, hopefully a PPC expert. So tell us a little bit about your background. Like, you, you know, were you born in the UK? What's your fam where's your family from? Yeah, so I'm actually, I'm originally from the Philippines. Um, and in 2011, we moved to the UK, and that's when I continued my yeah my education here. Um, and my plan was to actually go to uni like when I came here because um, like UK is like known for like prestigious uni. But then look from like now, you know, I didn't you know end up going to uni and I'm going on a completely different path, which is a better path in my opinion. Um, yeah, absolutely. And what's it like in your family? Was there any pressure on you to go to university? What did they think about you taking this path? Yeah, with my mom, uh, she was like, why are you not going to uni? You know, um, like, what are you going to do? It's like, how are you, you going to compete with other people uh, when you're looking for a job? You know, you have to learn, you know, you have to learn and keep learning, like, to sort of education. And I tried to explain to her, and I sometimes... It's hard to explain, especially with like digital marketing, how it works and, you know, how it's better than a, a degree, a marketing degree. Um, but yeah. Yeah, it's um, it's hard to explain to parents in general. Yeah. Um, I, my from from what I've gathered from a lot of my students, if you're an immigrant, it's even harder. I know a lot of other cultures have this. They have that belief like, well, all the cultures do that, like education equals success, you know, or or college degree equals success. So I think it's good that, you know, or it's great that you were able to, you know, move, move forward in your own direction. Um, how did your mom or your family react when you got the job? To be honest, uh, with my mom, she still wants me to go back to university after, even after passing the probation. But at the same time, she's happy that, you know, I got the job and that, like, it's stable. Um, and, and I think it's just because they've got, they've gotten used to just university is the only way. <laughs> the only way to like, success or the only way to succeed, the only way to do, you know, better. But it's nowadays it's really not, especially with the digital uh, landscape like growing. And there's more opportunities, you know, even yeah. now hey. than five years or ten years ago. 
And you said it best, guys. You guys, you know, younger, the, you guys, especially Gen Z, I mean, you are more tuned into the reality than even the millennials or especially people my age. It's kind of like the older people get, the more it's like, it's like um, they're locked in time in a belief system. And it really was like so pervasive in the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s. And you guys are on the cutting edge by understanding this. And you will still get that pressure from your mom. And, you know, you just got to kind of like smile and, like, okay, mom, I mean, you're going to, you're already earning more than any tw most 20 year olds yeah. at a prestigious company in the UK. And by the time you're 22 or 23, you're going to be making a lot more than them. And then it's like, why would you go back to university? You yeah. know? <laughs> I, think, um, I think get it with um, why they think it's yeah. With like university or college, even if you're doing already, you're already doing well. And they want to go back and I didn't get it. Like, It's a, it's, a, it's like parents are really like, I'm not a parent, but I know like you guys yeah. are all, most of my students are like, you could be my kids. Like you're like, you know, half my age. And I'm like, parents have like a lot of their own beliefs. They have a lot of pride mixed up in your performance. And there is a cultural, like there's, it's like a badge. But yeah. my child and, you know, when I was in school, yeah. my parents, they've talked to me about it. I mean, like they joke about it. Like, what do you do when you get together with your friends? When you're a boomer, you brag yeah. about your kids <laughs> or, you know, hopefully you can brag about your kids. So like, you know, uh, and one of the things they brag about is the university. And that's actually I heard that like she was speaking to like her friends and she couldn't say like she said, OK, I'm working as an agency, but she didn't really say like. I say, you know, proudly because he didn't really know what it is. It's actually, and I told her, I was like, it's actually, I'm actually in a better position than, you know, most people at uni. <laughs> it's just that you, like, you can't get my, yeah, can't get, get my head around it. Um, it's, and it's, yeah, and I, I come in, came into the conclusion that it's, it's my, like, you know, it's my choice anyway, and that, you know, it's my life and that, you know, so. It yeah. is. It is. That's a great attitude that you have, because really, you're never going to quite get your parents full approval or understanding. I mean, you know, even when I worked in this field, it took my parents about five years. Now, now they think they kind of understand what I do. They're definitely proud, but it's not, you know, I don't really. It was never an issue. I was like, I was just happy I could support myself. Um, yeah. And yeah, if you're waiting for your parents to understand you know, what did the Fresh Prince say? Parents just don't understand. <laughs> so I don't know if yeah. you guys are too young to remember when Will Smith was a rapper. But there's a great song called Parents Just Don't Understand. And, you know, it's true. And it's like not even their fault. Like when you have kids, you will not understand <laughs> a lot of what they're thinking. Um, so but it's great. It's inspiring. I know a, people, a lot of people want to hear that. I'm excited that you're in the UK. Um, what's it like in the UK, would you say, compared to the US in terms of the pressure to go to university? Is, is it just as intense? Yeah, it's just intense. I actually went to some interviews uh, because I was planning to go to university. Um, but then I ended up just like cancelling my application, <laughs> posting down my application and just going, um, you know, deciding to have a career in digital marketing. But that was a very, like, not difficult, but uh, scary, um, like, turnaround. because it, I didn't, yeah, I didn't really know about these marketing. And now that I'm, I'm canceling my university, like my university application, what am I going to do? Like, there's no, like no path at all. Um, but that's, yeah. Yeah. What did your, I mean, what did your friends, like friends or teachers think that you weren't going to university? One of my friends was actually gutted because I was going to university. My, <laughs> we were going to share a room, um, like a, a flat, a shared flat. Um, but then he's like, oh, you're leaving me now. <laughs> and you, oh. But he said he's happy for me because like, you know, as long as I'm, I'm uh, you know, I'm happy with like what I'm doing and I know where I want to be, where I want to go. And I, as, soon as, as long as I have a goal, then that's all that matters. Well, that's a good friend. That's a good friend. <laughs> you know, friends are often more understanding than, uh, than family or teachers or things like that. Um, but I think it's really a great example because. I think Dom might have been the same way. Like, I want to see more people in the UK and other countries skipping college for success as well. You know, I know every country is different. The stigma can be stronger or, or less, depending on where you live. 
Um, but as you guys can see, these agencies just, they really don't care about your degree. They just want to see that you can do the job. And um, at 20 years old, it's very inspiring to see that you've done that. So anyway, Kim, it's been great talking with you. Thank you so much for sharing your story with us. Is there anything else you want to say to me or to anyone watching the, the interview? Yeah, just want to say like, thanks a lot for the for making the course and because it's really it's really really a blueprint to a, a digital marketing job and it's really it made yeah it's it's what started my 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 proper like journey um before you know after those um those like courses that i took <laughs> those yeah those courses that i took um but yeah to anyone who's like thinking of uh buying self scores like just do it <laughs> just just do it and it's also um so when, when you buy the course just follow everything that he says because it's literally if you try to do anything anything different then you're not going to get the same result so it's it's a blueprint so just follow what, what he says and you'll be and then you, you'll get there yeah well said kim thank you good advice guys <laughs> <laughs> and uh i'm really happy for you and uh, let's stay in touch. I mean, I'll, I'll, we'll do a follow up in six months or a year. I'm sure you'll be further along and, uh, and it'll be great. So, so again, thanks for the chat and um, we'll talk soon. Yeah, thanks for, for having me, Seth.